Welcome back to another edition of Solved. We got a good one for you today, folks. 1948 Buick Roadmaster. Absolutely gorgeous. Takes us back into history. Today we're going to be doing the water pump. And we'll show you how to do that. But first you want to get yourself something to lay on. Get yourself a nice clean container. And underneath here, you're going to see that's the petcock. So this is the front of the motor. There's your petcock there. Let's go ahead and drain that. Okay, so now that we got this draining, as you can see, it's only water that's been in there. It's a good time to take a look at the rest of your vehicle. Not bad for, uh, I don't know, 75 years old. Now I'll turn your attention real fast over up here where we're going to be working. Okay, this is not a serpentine belt. It's rather a very large V-belt, which we'll be taking a look at. So from the passenger side, you want to take off the fan bolts right there, which appear to be half inch. Oh yeah, another bonus about the 1948 Roadmaster 70 is you can completely remove the hood. So I happen to be using a long wrench like this, because it's got the extra reach. So good idea here, these are your four bolts that hold the fan on. Good idea to get a magnetic tray. Also, I want to take a moment here to thank TeamBuick.com. I'm going to put a link in the description for you, which has step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this. A little bit of pictures here and there, but mostly it's uh, just uh, typed up there. Uh, I'll try and get a, a picture or two in there as well. If not, you can definitely go to the website. So now that we have the bolts off, you just take the fan off here. And now you have the water pump exposed a little bit more. We're gonna get to the belt and the bolts needed to remove it. Okay, so now we're using a 9 16 on the generator, AKA alternator of the day. And then you get a little better idea of the belt right there, which you'll probably wanna change out as a good recommendation. But you got your first bolt there. Okay, so again, that will be your first bolt down there, which you can see the adjustment. And then you come up here and you get on this one here. And once you have that loose, then you can push it down. Take off the belt. In fact, let's go ahead and just take it off together. With your water pump pulley, which we'll bring to the top here. Okay, set that aside. Then here's your belt. Not much of a routing these days and then this is your belt that's what it looks like you can see how split it is all cracked and it almost looks like a serpentine belt thickness but as you can quickly tell it is not always a good idea to take a look at your new parts so you can see where the bolt holes are one two three and then of course you have your hoses and possibly something in there so we're gonna disconnect the hoses even good time to do the thermostat. So now we're gonna go and loosen the hose clamps, which again is all SAE, if they are original clamps, which in this case actually looks like they might be. You can tell by how they look. Amazing how they've stood the test of time. So 3 8 socket, or you can of course use the flathead screwdriver, but I'd recommend using the socket. Certainly a lot easier. Disconnect it and make sure you get them all. Okay, so I was able to get off the lower hose, which is clearly aftermarket, and this had a dead end on it, which you can see right here, but that's what somebody had done somewhere during the 75 years it's been alive. Now, I wanna point out that the three water pump bolts are here, which are 916 here and here. So you have all the three one here, here, and there. We're gonna get that off now. 